All right, how's it going everybody? APOC here, back with another pickup video. Got some good stuff this week. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, the first thing I got, or the first thing I did this week uh, was a trade. I'll see if I can't put a picture up in here and show you guys what I, what I traded for these. But there was a gentleman in my area who put these up on offer up. There's these here. Are all the Nintendo 64 cases and then uh, as you can see back here the ones I haven't labeled yet are the new ones as well there were 20 in total and then he had a bunch of box games listed for the uh, Nintendo 64 uh, the picture I'll show you is what I traded for all 20 cases and these two games Smash Bros complete in box box is in pretty good shape and my favorite, favorite game on the Nintendo 64 is Quest 64. Complete inbox. So, not too bad. I uh, had to give up. I think the best thing I gave up was uh, Super Metroid for the Nintendo 64. Everything else was just a bunch of loose, random stuff I had laying around. So, for the 20 cases and those two complete games, all day long. Uh, I picked these up yesterday from the thrift store. Samurai Warriors 2 is complete. Uh, $2.99. Not too bad of a game to pick up. I picked it up for three bucks. I'll just use it as trade bait. I don't really collect for the PS2. Also got Scarface for three bucks. Believe this one is complete. And then uh, pick this one up at a separate thrift store, um, Def Jam Vendetta. I'm actually keeping this one. I love the Def Jam games. One of my probably all-time favorite fighting games. Complete. Uh, I think, I don't know if I said five bucks on that one. All right. Got these today. Yeah, we'll do these next. Got these today uh, at... My local um, Cash America Pawn, our pawn shop store here. They were all $1.99 each. Uh, Time Crisis 4, complete. I was actually very surprised to see this for $1.99. Discs in great shape. Good pickup for $1.99. Um, Dead Island, does it have the manual? Yes. Is complete. I'm going to keep these PS3 games. I actually got these because I wanted to play them. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Complete. Yep. Oh, hey, look at that. Somebody pulled a Chris Miller. I just flipped it around, but that manual was in there backwards. Somebody's been watching your videos, Chris. And Call of Duty Ghosts. This one does not have the manual. Just the game. But for a dollar ninety-nine each, I'm gonna flip the Time Crisis Four and get my money back plus some on that. Uh, I was kind of hemming and hawing when I saw this. wasn't sure if I should pick it up. I more or less picked it up to see if I might have a mystery game hiding in here. We'll see. Uh, picked up a Wii from the local Value Village. Can't be too bad at it too mad at it. $5.99. Uh, I already have cords and connections and controllers and all that sort of stuff, so I'm going to end up flipping it for $20, bucks, 25 bucks, and get my money back on it. I was just hoping to see if there might be something awesome hiding in here. We'll see. Right. And we got two more things left. This one we'll do next. I've been kind of eyeballing this thing sitting in the case. Uh, at the same value village, I picked up uh, the Wii from. It's been sitting in there for a couple weeks, um, but at $34.99, I wasn't going to pay that for this. Uh, randomly walked in earlier this week, and the um, tag color that was 50% off was the tag that was sitting on the GameCube. So for one controller, all the hookups, and a Platinum GameCube, $17.50. So actually, the system's in really good shape, very clean. 
door button doesn't stick whatsoever, so I don't have to fix that. Very good. And with all the hookups, you know, um, I'll probably add another controller to it in the game and I'll be able to flip it and make at least twice my money back plus some pretty quickly. And then this is kind of a mystery. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. Um, the one game I do right now play a lot on the PS3 for is... Um, where's it at? Motorstorm Apocalypse. This game is awesome. Um, the world's kind of crumbling down around you. Basically, this apocalyptic world you get to drive around in and race. Really fun game to play if you like racing games. Um, but I was able to pick this up at, uh, what was it? At the Goodwill on my way home. I don't like going to the Goodwill uh, ever since they did their online store and they don't really have video games in the store anymore. I don't really go to the Goodwill too often. Figured I'd stop by and uh, just see what they had on my way home today. And I saw this sitting on the bottom shelf. Now, it's one of these, I don't know how you pronounce it, H O R I, Horai racing steering wheels it's got the force feed all the buttons seem to be in very good shape it's got all the connections and even has the foot pedal on it uh, the sticker on this at 399 the sticker on that one let's see if I can show you it said 799 uh, I went up to the counter and I said hey these things go together you know, you got two different price prices on them, you know. What would you want for, for both of them? Um, she goes, oh, yeah, they probably just priced them separately. They didn't know they went together. Uh, she gave me the set for $7.99. Um, so I'm going to plug it in, see if how, you know, see how good it works with uh, Motor Storm Apocalypse. I may or may not keep it. This thing is pretty sweet. It does seem to work pretty well. So as long as it works, we may or may not keep that. I don't know. They seem to be going for quite a bit on eBay. I might just throw it on offer up and see if I can't double my money and get it back. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. But, uh, I believe that's it. Yeah, it was all that I got this week. Uh, not a lot, but a few cool things. Uh, I was super stoked to get all these cases. You guys have any of these Nintendo 64 cases? Hit me up. Let me know. We might be able to work out a trade. Um, Right now I think I'm positive 10 on how many I need for the uh, Nintendo 64 games to case ratio. Um, but I'm always looking for these green cases. Uh, I'd like to get my entire collection in these. Um, I don't know, I just kind of like these old retro cases and with them imprinted with the Nintendo 64 label on there. Just kind of looks cool. Don't ask me why I went with green. That was just kind of the one random color I had when I first found these and that was the one I stuck with. Uh, if you can kind of see right there, I got the same ones that are embossed with the regular Nintendo for the NES games, uh, and they're in blue. So, also looking out for those. Alright, well, other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take it easy.